All right guys, there's lots of goodies you can put on your sled and you know I'm the king of mod stuff, right? Well, here's the first six that I do to each and every sled. One frequently asked question is, out of all the mods, what are the necessities? What do you put on your own sled? And so obviously that question is circumstantial based on budget, but here's, here's my quick list. Here's, here's the six things that no matter what the budget is, in my opinion, this is what would go on my snowmobile. So the first thing is suspension. And so I'm a big suspension guy. I feel so the manufacturers do a good job of trying to um, cater to the 80%, right? Um, but you know, my use demands of a sled are a lot different than let's say my dad's use demands on his mountain sled riding in the mountains. So for me, my partnership with Fox Shocks is a big one and an important one. And so, you know, my, my three big goals when uh, tuning and calibrating suspension is of course it's gonna handle better in the bumps, but I didn't buy an RMK to ride the trail. We, we spend most of our day trying to get up on edge. So that's number one, is uh, a, sus a suspension calibration that helps initiate the sled get up on edge easier. Number two, and probably most important, is once you get on edge, to maintain edge. And so those are, those are the two calibrations that I work on most. And then third is getting up on top of the snow, and that's what, what is done in the rear suspension. Um, so as far as suspension, that, those are the three big things that, in my opinion, make a big difference, especially over stock calibration. All right, number two. Real easy these days to drop a bunch of weight. Um, unfortunately, the OEMs got their hands tied with uh, sound emissions, and, and so they have to put those big silencers in there. I run an SLP. I've been running SLP for a long time, and uh, two big things that are important to me. One, obviously dropping some weight. Two, making sure that it's still quiet. Um, you know, there's just, there's just no room in this industry, in my opinion, for having these loud, obnoxious cans. We have so many people wanting to shut us down. Um, that's just another excuse to give them. So uh, the reason I like the SLP is A, it's light, B, it's quiet. Um, and then also, uh, new this year, they've got the can with the integrated cooker mount, which is awesome. Uh, I gotta have a warm lunch up on the hill for sure. Number three, um, and this one is, uh, so for all you 850 guys, we've been, uh, I have had a lot of questions on the gear down stuff. Um, the 800, we had a really good gear down kit with the Kurtz Polaris kit. Um, and then, so we've been working this, this season on the 850 stuff. And it's pretty amazing how big of a difference gearing down these sleds uh, makes and especially here up at our elevation that 10 to 12 you know now we have a gear down kit with a clutch kit that works in conjunction more track speed uh, better sustained rpm and less belt heat that's i mean it's very simple so um, that works awesome so that's number three so uh, number four is um, i'm all about carrying so as a guide out six days a week uh, got to be prepared for any such situation and whether that's working on snowmobiles whether it's um, trying to get a sled up out of a creek uh, or uh, you know worst case if someone gets hurt or something like that so um, one motto that I truly live by is you don't have to carry a lot of stuff you just have to carry the right stuff um, and one of the things that I focus on is having um, my sled carry the weight versus me carry the weight. So, you know, my, my Polaris tunnel bag is, this This is something that I do not ever leave home without. You know, we'll do another video covering all the stuff I carry within my bag, but um, I like this because it's low profile, doesn't get in my way. Um, I also have my under seat bag for my waters and stuff like that. Um, but again, that's something that goes with me every day. And in the end, getting the weight off of you, uh, getting it on your sled, but more importantly, it's what is inside. We get a lot of people coming here who are unprepared, no tools, no saws, no ropes, no nothing. And um, then you're not prepared for the situation. So we'll cover another video on that. Uh, number five, and this is one that, um, this has been fun to work with DuraPro. 
over the last two years. So one of the things on the stock Polaris is um, the ski rubber can, when you get into those situations where you shove that front end, like down into the creek bottom or something, it can shove that ski up and it basically fails the stock ski rubber. Um, DuraPro has done um, an amazing job coming out with a ski rubber that um, saves your ski, fits uh, within the ski and basically eliminates any, I mean, throughout the years, we literally would carry two ski rubbers with us on the hill and um, every few weeks or uh, we, we would have to, whether it was a client sled or rental sled or our sleds, we'd have to change one out on the hill and, and there's nothing worse than having a ski that's dangling up and down. So lifetime warranty on the DuraPros, they're 80 bucks um, and it's a no brainer. And, and so that, um, that, that's a must have on, on my sleds. All right, the sixth, and this is one that people kind of give me crap about. I don't know how good it is until I ride a sled without it. Um, and then I say, man, I can't live without that. And that is uh, heated brake lever. So for all you guys who have been to my place, you know I'm always saying finger on the brake, right? I use my middle finger. Um, you know, when, when, when I ride, I ride with a finger on the brake 100% of the time. It allows me to be more aggressive with the gas. However, when it's cold out and you've got that poor finger sitting out there, um, it, it can get cold. And so uh, not only to have it heated, but also some people use a pointer finger, some people use a middle, two finger, whatever. Um, it also has adjustable throw, so you can uh, make it closer to the handlebar. Um, and so that's something that is great too for guys with smaller hands um, or pointer finger, middle finger guys. There's a lot of adjustability built into it. So those are the six must haves on every single sled, whether it's stock, turboed or anything. Those are my six that I have to have to, to be uh, successful in the backcountry. All the products I talked about here today, the reason that we use them is to make your experience better. So check out the links below that go to the store and make sure you shop with us, ride with us, connect with us.